You guys, we are starting a series. I don't know, it might be a three part, four part, five part, but we're gonna be going through making Facebook ads and kind of documenting the entire process along the way. So what we're gonna be doing inside of this video, we're not gonna be picking a product, but we're just gonna take a random product. We're gonna make the picture, structure everything. I'm gonna show you exactly how we do that. We're also gonna go and write the ad copy for it, put it inside of your Facebook page and publish it as a post. From there, we're gonna build off of it in other videos. But with that being said, guys, before we jump inside of my computer and go through all this stuff, if you haven't already, be sure to join the family by hitting that nice like subscribe button down below and drop a like on the video if you get any value at all. And if you guys want me to branch off of this series or just build off of it or have specific topics or questions about Facebook ads, be sure to drop it in the comments down below so that I can cover it in the next part. And with that being said, you guys, let's jump inside of my computer. Okay, so the way we're gonna be doing this, like I just explained, is we're gonna take the product, right? And then we're gonna go and create the post and then we're gonna publish it. And I'm gonna show you, you know, all the steps along the process of doing that. So what I've done is we went over here to AliExpress. I went through, uh, just looked at some cat necklaces, okay? We've made videos, you guys, talking about the niche. Find the niche that people are passionate about. People love their pets, okay? And cats, I know that if you look at the average demographic for cat owners, that's typically gonna be females of age. So they have money and they're passionate. Perfect. That's what's gonna breed impulse buys. So I grabbed this one, right? Uh, this is just one that, I mean, it's a good price, whatever, it looks like a good picture and we can definitely put some text on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screenshot it here. You guys can grab it however you want. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Canva, okay? And Canva is what I use to make all of my Instagram posts, all of my Facebook posts, everything for my ads. That's also where I make my YouTube thumbnails. If you see right here, you can see my thumbnails and whatnot. And if you click the, you wanna do a Facebook post, okay? Because if you actually go and just put the picture inside of your Facebook while you're creating the campaign, and again, we'll be talking about this later in this video, it's gonna squish it. So for right now, just grab this Facebook post one, okay, hit that. And what it's gonna do is we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna import the picture into there, right? So let me, let me do that real fast. Okay, I brought the picture in and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna size it. Okay, so it kind of drags off. And what I'm looking for, not looking for, but what I'm trying to do is making, sh is I'm trying to make sure that there's gonna be a good place to actually put the text, okay? Uh, as you can see, it kind of fades out up here. You can still see the chain though. So we'll make sure that that's still visible. Um, we will move it up just a little bit, okay? Because now I can use the space at the bottom to write. And I'll take a, if you click the little text bar on the side, that little button, use the add subheading, okay? And I'm gonna go, Let's say, for this, I like to keep it really simple, you guys. I see people who have a logo, the price, free shipping, like all the blah, blah, blah. They have size one font that literally like has a whole paragraph explaining the product. Don't do that. Watch how simple I keep it, ready? Free in all capitals, necklace, okay? Now we're gonna make this a little bit bigger, okay? And just to be clear, we are gonna be doing a free plus shipping for this, that's what the offer is. And you need to find a color that really looks good over the background, okay? I'm gonna use red because if red looks good, if you can actually read it, I love using red. Red is an action-based color and it's really good for free plus shipping, in my opinion. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the elements side of it, hit lines, and we'll just take one of these, okay? And we're gonna position it here. And now what we can do as well is we can change the color, okay? So I'm gonna go with a blue. Blue typically means they're comfortable, okay? Actually, we're gonna look you don't want too many colors inside of here. Again, this is just a process, you guys. I'm documenting the creative process. So, white looks perfect, okay. Um, depending on what color we're gonna use for this secondary stuff we're putting under here, I may or may not change that and come back to it, but that's just the process. I'm gonna do today only. So at that point, with an exclamation point. At that point, we're using time scarcity, right? There's two different sorts of biases that you can actually use in your post, okay? You can use scarcity or urgency. Here, we would be using urgency. Uh, an example for scarcity would if you said next 100 people only or only 30 available, where it's a quantity, okay? This is more of a time. So now what we're gonna do is make this one a little bit bigger as well so that it fits. We're gonna move it under and I will change the font. I really don't like to have them both in the same font. Uh, we'll just kind of see what looks good. Let's see, it's loading in there, okay. That's not awful. I will, you guys, again, you can just type in a different size if you want and just kind of mess around with it. Today only, oh, we gotta move this down. You can use your arrow keys to move it down if I can grab it here. Perfect. Let's bring it down. Okay, and now I'm just looking for the colors, okay? Black is kind of basic, white's a little boring. Now it's just gonna be a matter of experimenting with the colors, okay? I might put today only in red and put free necklace in another color. 
So let's see if we go here and do blue. Okay, I don't really like that. We're going to change it. You guys, this is just the process you go through, okay? You're going to have to kind of experiment and see what works best. Again, don't be afraid to just test it out and see what works, okay? We can also just leave it all red. I don't necessarily want to do that. That'll just be kind of a last case scenario. You know, honestly, that does look fine, okay? And I put the black, you know, again, as you guys can see, I just switched colors like five times, okay? And there's no harm in that. It's simple. It looks good. Free necklace today only. It explains what the offer is, okay? Free necklace. And now it also gets them interested, today only. So if they have any interest in it, now they're forced to take an action right now because you say today only, so they won't be able to get it tomorrow. So now what we do from here, guys, again, that's pretty simple. I keep these very, very straightforward and there's a very high similarity rate between all of my ad posts, both for Instagram and Facebook. It looks exactly like that. I don't like to overcomplicate it. So we're gonna go up here and click this download button. Uh, you can go over here and name it whatever you want. Free necklace, hit download, okay? From there, it's gonna save your computer and then we're gonna go add it into Facebook, which I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Okay, so I don't think this shows too much. This is an old ad account um, with no post. So what you do is up here in the left, you go, once you're inside your business manager, you can go again, you have all these tools, go to page posts, okay? And once we're at page post, which I already have it pulled up, hit create post. And from there, you know, if you're doing a video ad, right, you'll hit video. Um, we're gonna be doing a photo ad inside of this one. So then you're gonna go ahead and upload that photo that we just made inside of Canva. Okay, now we have that uploaded inside of here. Now it comes down to the text, right? This is gonna be the ad copy inside of your Facebook ad. This is huge, again, I use a very similar layout for every single one, just different wording, okay? I don't have anything, I don't know, like a template or something I build off of, I just kinda of know what I do every single time. So, what I like to do and how I structure this, right off the bat, I need to hook them, okay? I need to hit them emotionally or socially. Okay, let me actually write that down for you guys real fast. Emotion, no, you know what? Hook needs to be emotional or social. And you guys, what I mean by that, emotional would be something like, I love using this example, if you're doing a baby niche and you, you can say a legitimate, hard statistic and a fact, you can say something along the lines of like, 835,700 blah, 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 babies died last year because X, Y, Z, and your product's the solution. That's emotional, okay? If you're doing a baby niche, you're gonna be targeting women, right? Women are emotional people. That's just science of the human body. So they're gonna to react to that. Social would be something like, do you love your cat? Which is kind of what we're gonna go here. Or you could say, um, if you're doing like, I love using this example as well, a dog vest, and you're like a coat for a dog to keep them warm. You know, like a coat for a dog to keep them warm. You could say something like, do you want your best friend to be cold? No, of course you don't. And then we go into the rest of this. Um, but right here, what we're gonna start with is, do you love your cat to the moon and back? Of course you do. We all do. And what we're gonna do there is then I'm gonna add in an emoji, okay? I typically like to use about two emojis and we'll go ahead and throw in this one right here, okay? Emojis work well just because emojis is a picture, okay? And have you ever heard the term, a picture speaks a thousand words? That means you can now put in an emoji instead of a ton of words. So therefore it's shorter, which of course uh, you don't want it too long, but you just insert a picture and now it tells a story. It builds off of it and people see that. It's like a visual aid. Okay, so from there, this is what I would consider the first line. Now, we're gonna drop down here and then this is where we start giving them information, okay? I'm gonna say something along the lines of, well, you're in luck. You know, we gotta spell things right. Make sure you're spelling things right. I'm not the greatest at that. You're in luck. Today only, okay, only in all capitals, right? Only, you want, that to, that's a punchline right there that hits them, right? It stands out. Today only, we are giving away our best selling cat necklace for free. Just cover shipping, okay? Again, you guys, I've mentioned this in video, we're gonna do dot, dot, dot. I've mentioned this in videos. Just cover shipping, never just pay shipping. Nobody wants, when was the last time you wanted to pay for something? Nope. But if you're using the word cover, it almost makes them feel like they're just covering the cost. So in their mind, you're not making any money. And if I'm buying something, I wanna get it as cheap as possible. I don't want you to make money off the deal, right? So just cover shipping. And again, we'll go back through and reorganize this once we post it. I will show you that in a second. Now, you're gonna say, claim yours today. Something simple along those lines, equal, equal sign with those arrows, okay? That way it's like an arrow. 
right? And I actually don't ever put the emoji that's the arrow. Reason being is a couple of people have told me, I've never really tested it myself. People who make a lot of money have just told me Facebook doesn't really like that and so it'll rank it lower. So I just do this instead. Claim yours today and that's where we're gonna go ahead and put the link, okay? You guys put the link to your product. Now, one little tip about the link. I don't like using a Google shortener. I don't like using Bitly. What I do is I'll go inside the product backend on my Shopify store, go down all the way to the bottom and hit edit metadata or maybe it's website SEO. And you can, it's right there at the bottom, little button. And from there you can actually change what the back end of the link is. It's gonna be some long AliExpress bullshit. You can chop it down from a paragraph to just say necklace. So it's www.yourshopifystore slash products slash necklace. So simple. Looks clean, that's what you wanna put in there. So make sure your link looks good. Otherwise it just looks terrible, super unprofessional. I would never post it. Now, what you wanna do under that is reinforcement, right? So I'll back it up. I'll say something along the lines of, hurry, inventory is limited. And I'm actually gonna put these, you guys, it's just a finesse. Inventory is limited, we'll put all of this in capitals. Inventory is limited. Or you could say, hurry, inventory is low. Something along those lines. And from there, you can put another emoji. If you want to do a, an arrow pointing back up to the link, like a finger thing right here. Um, yeah, I mean, something along those lines, right? Personally, if I'm doing emojis, I don't want two that are the same style. I don't want to use two of the hands. I don't want to use two facial expressions. So have them be two completely separate things, but that's just a good little tip. Now, from here, you guys, I leave it as what it's already selected as use this post for an ad only. Now, you hit create post, and it's going to publish your page post. You're gonna take this ID here, and we're gonna be talking about this in part two on where you're gonna enter it, but now you don't have to actually insert all that and type it up inside the ad itself when you're creating it. You just use an existing post. That way Facebook's not gonna cut it off, so it will not be cropped, which is huge. You don't want it looking really ugly, and again, like imagine if they took, where was the picture we had? If they take this and they chop it so that it's only like, you know, a little section of it, so you have no wiggle room to write your words, anything. It's so bad, so you guys definitely be sure to use a page post inside of your Facebook business manager. So again, you guys, I just wanted to go through a couple of the core and key points that were really related to creating a Facebook ad. These are the first initial steps. I want you guys to go through, start creating a couple different ads, testing, make a couple different pictures with different products, even if you're not even doing those products. Experiment, because some pictures are easier to put words on than others. So I really wanna build this into a good series and kind of go through and just fully outline the process. Again, you guys, I really don't like to overcomplicate things. I'm working on a really fun project that probably won't even be available for months. I'm just super excited about it. I'm recording it pretty much every single day at this point. It's pretty much something that nobody's done, okay? And I like that. It's really interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun, provide a lot of value to you guys. So let me know what you guys want to see in part two of this series. If you have any specific points, questions, or problems that you want me to go through, drop it in the comments down below. Because in this next one, we're going to be going through and fully creating the ad, picking the targeting, doing everything like that, all the placements everything. Also, you guys, be sure to hit that little notification bell down below because you do not want to miss it when we're dropping these videos, okay? We got part two, we got more parts of the series coming out, and you don't want to miss them. And if you guys did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you showed some love and support down below by dropping a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to join the family by hitting that nice like and subscribe button. And as you guys know, we post every single day on this channel, so I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow in the next one. Peace.